get ready. Three, two, one, go. Hey guys, what's up? Darius Dangers here, bringing you another video. And today I wanted to talk about uh, a lot of this news coming out of Valve, Steam OS, Steam Machines, and there should be a third reveal sometime this week. And I assume, just gonna assume at this point that that might be Half Life 3. But uh, let's get right into this. Essentially, what Steam OS is is a Linux-based operating system dedicated towards gaming. What this would do is essentially transform your gaming PC or rig for all intents and purposes into a gaming console, a Linux-based gaming console. Having an open operating system dedicated towards gaming functions should allow developers to get even more out of that superior uh, PC hardware. No longer having to put up with the bloat that inherently comes with, say, a Mac OS or uh, Windows because those operating systems are designed to accommodate a wide range of tasks that you would expect to get out of a computer. A computer is not just for gaming. But with this Steam OS, you can essentially load that up on your gaming rig, on your HTPC, your workstation, and transform it into a dedicated piece of gaming hardware. This should make it easier for developers to optimize for that operating system and get more games, better performance than you would expect out of Windows or uh, a Mac OS. I found this announcement to be pretty goddamn interesting. Just as an option. It's just so fucking great as an option. I definitely, the next time I build a PC, I definitely might think about, hey, why don't I transform my old rig into a dedicated gaming, uh, <laughs> a dedicated Steam gaming console for the living room. Or making like a small HTPC rig and use Steam OS instead of Windows because it seems like SteamOS will have some uh, multimedia functions. I won't be surprised one bit if we're going to see Netflix on there, if we're going to see some kind of browser on there, some kind of like music uh, application on there. SteamOS also has streaming available, kind of similar to, uh, say, the Wii U or the Vita's Remote Play, Shield, what you can do or actually Shield is probably the most apt comparison here, Shield, NVIDIA Shield. But what you can do is you can use a computer, HTPC or whatever, loaded with SteamOS, and you can stream games from your main tower. You can stream games from your main tower and uh, play those on your living room TV, say, or play those uh, Windows and Mac games that have not been converted to Linux and therefore would not work on uh, Steam OS and you can stream those. That's really cool so I can make like a really really cheap Steam box of my own. Fuck the Steam machines that are coming out, make my own little tiny Steam box, load Steam OS on it, stream games from my fucking gaming rig and play it anywhere else in the house on the living room TV for, per se. That it's kind of, that is really great. And talking about the home streaming, well, let's bring this back to the, uh, the Steam machines themselves. The Steam box. How long has this been rumored, really? How long have we heard rumors about Steam box? It feels like it's been ages now, but we finally have um, some information on the Steam machines. Basically, what these Steam machines are going to be are uh, 
set top boxes with varying specs from uh, different um, computer uh, hardware vendors. So I'm probably you're probably gonna see like a Steam machine from Dell, a Steam machine from Alienware, HP, Gateway, Samsung, stuff like that. Does Gateway even exist anymore? That's actually a good question. Uh, leave, me, leave me a comment in the comments box if uh, Gateway is still a uh, PC vendor. I'm not actually sure about that. But you buy this set-top box that has SteamOS already pre-installed, and that would basically be it. It would be a Steam box, um, you know, for all intents and purposes, a Linux-based Valve console for your living room that as I mentioned earlier um, this is definitely going to be interesting going forward um, what kind of disappointed me about the Steam Machine uh, announcement in particular was um, the lack of specs the lack of actually showing us maybe what the hardware would look like that that is kind of disappointed me because I'm like oh no so the Steam Machines are coming but I don't know what kind of specs they have or what they look like they just, just kind of disappointed with that a little bit, just with kind of a boring, soft rollout, uh, I, I would say. But um, this is definitely, definitely going to be interesting going forward. Um, Steam this year is going to start uh, some beta testing, and they will ship th out 300 Steam boxes to uh, some select Steam users. You have to have, there's some requirements, I believe. Uh, let me see right here. Yes, the uh, requirements would be eligible for the Steam Machine beta. Very, very, very select few people. 300 out of fucking how many, uh, who knows how many Steam users there are. And you have to have at least 10 Steam friends. You have to create a public Steam profile if you don't already have one. And you have to play a game in big picture mode and with this prototype hardware you would be able to play from a selection of nearly 3,000 games that are natively running uh, on Steam OS and the rest would work as I mentioned earlier through the uh, streaming from your main rig to uh, the Steam box which Steam users obviously have a main rig to be playing their games on so that won't be an issue I suffice to say will not um, probably be <laughs> selected for this beta. Um, I don't even have 10 Steam friends, so right there, I already have a problem. But that, that's not so bad to me. Um, I'm probably still more interested in the Steam OS than the uh, actual Steam machines because I think I would probably make my own Steam machine for fun. But, wow, this is just some really really exciting news uh, coming out of Valve. It'll be really interesting to see what kind of impact this might make on the gaming industry, whether it has a minimal, minimal impact or a significant impact. It's kind of interesting having this news come out so close to uh, the launch of next-gen hardware this uh, upcoming November. So, what do you guys think? Steam OS, Steam Machines, are you excited? Are you hyped? Are you ready to uh, pray at the at the, uh, <laughs> at the at the chapel of Game New World? I personally am, am quite interested in just the strict premise of this. You be having the advantage of a console that closed uh, that closed operating system that developers could code for and optimize for. You know, kind of coding to the metal, so to speak, while still having the advantage of superior PC hardware, upgradability, freedom of choice and components and it's it's definitely interesting. The next time I build a PC, I don't know whether I make my old PC a Steam console or whether I build uh, my new PC with Steam OS in mind. It's just going to be really interesting going forward. And then, of course, Valve has one more surprise in store for us this week. What do you guys think it'll be? My bet? Half-Life 3, Left 4 Dead 3, some kind of exclusive, possibly even maybe uh, the reveal of Source Engine 2? That, that, that would be pretty cool. So, check you guys later.
Darius Dangers, signing out.